Hello, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over the MCC scuffed predictions. So let's get started with 10th place, the Yellow Yaks of Foza, Blushy, Saturday Gaming, and Aimsy. So these predictions are going to be based off of what I personally think each team is going to do in each individual game. So for the Yellow Yaks, I think uh, they're not that good at moving games. They get 9th and 10th and in holding the wall to the other side. Uh, they do a little bit better in PvP games. They get ninth in battle box and throw games. So still not that great. And then team games is the best the best section out of the three. Uh where they get eighth in Bone Mart. Uh and times times four because there's four Yeah, there's there's four Bone Marts. Um Yeah. And then uh ninth in Santa Time. So this team does pretty poorly in these games because they don't really have that great of a carry. I mean, Foza is a good player, but not really that S tier that you need for a team. Uh, and then Blushy and Aimsy did not even play in the last event, so it's been like a month since they played MCC. Shouldn't matter too much though, just because you have MCC Island and stuff now. Uh, and no one has played Bodemart in a while. Like Bodemart. Cause I haven't played in like what half a year. <laughs> now it's being played four times. Okay, yeah, moving on. Uh, to ninth place, I have the Lime Llamas of Awesome Dude, Punk, Bad Boy Halo, and Skeppy. So this team does okay in movement games. They get tenth in holding the wall, but fourth in to get to their side. Uh. And in PvP games, this is the best section, as they get 5th in Battle Box, and the 6th in Survival Games. And then in Team Games, that's their worst section, which is sad, since that's like more than half of the game this event. Of uh, Build Mart, they get 10th, uh, and then Sandy Time, they get 10th. Uh, so yeah, this, team, this game is a uh, very team game re reliant this MCC so teams that don't do great in uh, team games are gonna be put really low uh, but this team does do good in like to their side battle box and stuff like that because they're all like they're all okay at everything like they're like good PVPers uh, good at movement uh, but they don't really have that strong carry that is gonna be able to lead them in the team games, which is why they do very poor. And of course, Skeppy and Bad Boy Halo rarely play MCC, so that's always a downside. Um, but moving on, so 8th place, I have the Purple Pandas of Fire Breathman, Cryptic Zeus, Vixella, and Dr. Gluon. So this team does not do that great in movement games, as they get 7th from Hole in the Wall, 9th from Tier to their side. Uh, in, in PvP games, they do very well. Fourth in Battle Box, second in the Survival Games. Uh, and then in Team Games, this is also a uh, section that I don't do too great. They get ninth in Build Mart and seventh in Santa Time. Uh, so this team does have that very strong carry, as in the Fire Breath Man. Uh, and uh, Cryptic Zeus is decent as well. But they just don't really have that all around team that's going to be doing good in movement games. Um, PvP games, obviously, you just need a strong carry like Fire Breath Man to do well in, which they have. And then team games, uh, you know, they're just <laughs> not, not the best. Um, moving on to <laughs> the seventh place, the Aqua Oxlottles. This thing is Ant Frost, Tubbo. Red Velvet Cake and Connor Eats Pants. So, this team does below average in movement games. So, they get 8th from Hole in the Wall and 8th from Tears of their side. This team does decent in PvP games, getting 6th from Battle Box and 5th in Survival Games. And this team does the best out of their sections in the team games, with 5th in Bode Mart and 6th in Santa Time. Uh, and obviously, keep in mind, Bode Mart is four times being played so that's just that placement times four pretty much because i'm not gonna i have no idea how to change it for each one each individual map I, no idea but yeah this team has a all-around decent team uh and like movement 
PvP, that aspect. Um, and obviously they're a good team game, you know, Ant, Frost, and Tubbo. Very good at communicating, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, sixth place, the Red Rabbits of Tapo, Hannah, Hannah Rose, Sylvie, and Jean Ellie. This team got completely screwed by the, uh, by the games. I had this, like, before the, uh, before the, uh, game announcements, I had this team in, like, second. And now they don't even come close to that. Oh, are you kidding me? Notification? Why? Oh, my God. Okay. Where was I? Yeah, so this team does pretty good in moving games, getting sixth in Hole in the Wall and third in to get to their side. This team is the best PvP team in the entire event, getting first in Battle Box and first in Survival Games. But despite that, in team games, they're only they're still below average, getting sixth in Build Mart and eighth in Santa Time, just pretty much completely ruining their score, uh, which is catastrophic. To, I don't know what I was going to say, I'm not going to lie for you. Uh, but fifth place. Actually, go, going back to that. Going back to the team. Um, well, this is awkward. I'm going to cut this out. <laughs> uh, so this team, uh, obviously, does pretty good in uh, PvP because they have Tap L, Hannah, and Sylvie, who has been recently popping off. Uh, and Ginelli just rounds out. Uh, the team of that is a good supporting character, and they obviously are pretty decent in uh, movement games because, again, Tap Out and Hannah are <laughs> like gods at movement. They do like, what, like speed running, bed wars, stuff like that, and so he's obviously been getting better. Uh, and in team games, they just simply aren't that great at like communicating and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, Hannah. Hannah might, you know, Hannah might pop off in, in that aspect, so maybe, maybe they'll do it a little bit better, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't really think so. Uh, moving on to fifth place, the Green Geckos of Puns, Krinios, Becky Amon, and Orion Sound. This team is very well-rounded and very strong in moving games, getting a second in the hole in the wall, and the first in to get to the other side. This team is also extremely strong in PvP, getting second in Battle Box and third in Survival Games. Once again, this team got screwed by the game, by the games being played. Getting seventh in Build Mart and then fourth in Sin Time, which is pretty good. But the seventh in Build Mart, it's just it's four sevenths, like and it's a guarantee that there's gonna be at least one played second half. Um. And it better be a guarantee as well that one of them is going to get skipped. I swear to God, if there's four build marts, oh my, I'm going to be so pissed. Yeah, obviously I don't like build marts, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Puns is an amazing player, obviously. And then Krinios and Becky Mon have been doing pretty good. And Orion Sound is a very slept on, uh, like, supporting character. He's probably, like, one of the best at, like, you know... Being like one of the bottom players, one of the best bottom play. Like I don't know how to sound supportive, but also okay, yeah, okay. Um, and in fourth place, I have the Orange Ocelots with Ranabu, Sneak Snag, in the Littlewood, and Kyle Corvus. So finally, a team that got boosted <laughs> by the uh, team announcements, uh, getting the fourth in Build Mart and the fifth in Santa Time. So this definitely brought up their score. Uh, as PvP games, uh, they are not strong at, at all. Getting eighth in battle box and eighth in survival games. Movement, they're also pretty strong at though, as they are a pretty well rounded team. Getting third in hole in the wall and a fifth in to get to their side. So while this team doesn't really have that strong of a carry. Uh, they're all like they're all like pretty good like players individually. So that should add up together to do pretty well. Um, so yeah, in third place I have the Pink Parrots 
with JoJo Solos, Green Shovel, and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, this team does below average in movement games, getting fifth in Hole in the Wall and seventh in Tier Three side. This team also does not do that great in PvP games, getting seventh in Battle Box and the seventh in Spell games. But this team is super strong in team games. In second in the build mart and the second in the sand of time. So these uh, predictions of the, the, the new game is like the only reason why they're this high. As again, they're, they're a very well-rounded team in team games. Obviously, Green, Shovel, and JoJo Solos are all really good at team games. I think team games are also uh, LD Shadow Lady's strong suit. Um, but then again, she hasn't played in the event since like what season one actually i think she played in like season two i think she might have played on like mc pride uh 21 um still a long time though uh and obviously jojo solos cracked s tier um definitely one of the stronger s tiers as well um being well suited in all three aspects of mcc um so yeah, strong team. And then second place. So now the Dodge Bolt. By the way, third place in this next team. So Pink Parrots and the, the second place Blue Bats are insanely close together in scores. Uh, as Blue Bats of S Major, Small S Beans, F Whip, and Gemini T are pretty decent in movement games. Getting fourth in Horn Wall, sixth in Ticket to their side. They are the worst PvP game PvP team in the event. Getting tenth in the battle box and tenth in survival games. But despite that, in team games they get first in the build mark and third in sand of time. Absolutely <laughs> a huge variety, like wide side variety in scores. Getting the tenth and first. Uh, but obviously the first is just much more prevalent in Build in uh, Build Mart. It is four times to get first, and obviously third and second time is very helpful as well. That was likely to get played later in the event, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, obviously the tenth places in P the PvP games are the reason why it's super close between them and Pink. But I think they barely squeak by it. I don't know, it depends though. If there's like four build marks that get played, it's pink is uh, definitely going to get third to blue bats. But if there's three and they get played sem semi early, then pink might have a shot at beating them. Um, just because they're slightly better at PvP games. But now, first place and the winner of Dodgeball. Is the Cyan Coyotes of Pizza Hut, CPK, Pearlescent Moon, and a False Symmetry. This team is just the most well rounded. They're very well rounded players, and they have, and Pizza Hut and CPK are insanely good at MCC. And this showing through like movement games that they get first in Hole in the Wall, second to get to their side. And in PvP games, they're doing pretty strong as well, getting third in Battle Box and a fourth in Survival Games. And in team games, they're also pretty strong, getting third in the Build Mart and a first in Sand of Time. I mean, again, Pizza Hut, S tier, very good. And then CPK, high A tier, doing very well, very good pair of Pizza Hut and CPK. They were doing in the MCC 29, and they're also doing in the MCC MCC 9. I want no wait, is it MCC 9? I think MCC 9. Uh, and yeah, they win dodgeball. I think there's a better dodgeball team than the Blue Bats, as the Blue Bats are very similar to the MCC 11 Blue Bats. Um, and. Except they just don't have H bomb. Like it's the same exact team except they don't have H bomb, and H bomb is a very good dodgeball player. And even then, like they 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 don't funnel arrows. Like if you don't funnel, if you're not a team that's gonna funnel arrows in dodgeball, you're already at disadvantage. But that doesn't play too big of a role because the 
saying coyotes are also probably not going to be funneling arrows. So, but you know, Saiyans just better dodge what team. You know, Pizza Hut, CBK, very good at that. False Symmetry is pretty good at bow and arrow as well. And then Pearlescent Moon is also pretty decent. They're all like probably like top half. They're like just get out the fucking. You, you, you get my point, all right. But now moving on to the top ten individual leaderboards to finish the video up. So in tenth place I have S major. In ninth place pairing up with S major I have Smallish Beans. And in eighth place is Tapel. Seventh is Ranabu. Sixth is CPK. Fifth is Ant Frost. Fourth is a Fire Breath Man. Third is Puns. Second is JoJo Solos. And the first place is, of course, Connor Esports. Wait, no. Wait a minute. Nope, read that wrong. First place is Pete Zahut. Obviously. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm probably going to do predictions for the next MCCs as well. Uh, but if you're still watching somehow, um, leave a like, subscribe, comment, you know, you know the deal. Just do it all, please. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.